This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. We're ready to get underway for the first match of the day. That's well bowled by Macri and Clements just drops this one into the onside. Runs on the board straight away here this morning. Oh, and lofted into the offside. This one will go towards the rope. This will be Cuatro Carreras. First boundary of the morning comes off the bat of Christina Goff. Again, too far down the onside, and that's well struck from Clements. But, oh, dear, oh, it takes a bit of a tortuga, I think. Does the fielder all ends up there? Mario Ciorotti doesn't really have too much to do. He can see it just Jeff genuinely takes a big bounce away from her. Another boundary, though. That'll be the first one for Lily Clements is this one. That is a genuine... Da -da 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 -da. A pish. Oh, hit firmly. And that one is going to go all the way towards the rope. Nice shot from Clements. That'll be four runs. And again, lofted over the top. And uh, out of the middle, this one is probably going to go all the way. And yeah, it will do. Another boundary for Clements. That's the second one that she's gone over the top here. Looks confident when it's full. And this time it was pushed a little bit wider so she could throw the kitchen sink at it. And it uh, runs away. Another boundary, four more. I did think that Goff was going to like the look of this leg spin. Plays with the spin, hit firmly. That'll be a boundary. Been a while since we last had one, but that's a nice one as it's too short from Zavani and Goff is going to absolutely go with the spin. Full toss, hit firmly into the onside. That one will go all the way. That'll be four runs. Shot, hit away firmly, and that one is going to probably go to the rope. It does. Meltal shield. Up and away into the onside. This one is going to be one bounce, four runs. Nice pickup. Uh, so that's what we know Goff can do. Lofted over the top. And again, it's going to be another boundary. Four more. And that will be 50 for Christina Goff. And she walks off. She knows she's made her 50. That'll be 50 and retired. And uh, very good innings. And she comes off with the cannons going off as well. And uh, she'll walk off. She'll be happy with her efforts. 50 off of 44 for the German national representative. Playing for the MCC on her first tour. A good 50, though, for her. This is, uh, again, nicely played away. I think this is Sidiotti who's returning for her final over. It is. They'll turn and come back for two. Moves on to 49. Uh, we'll now push this away. That will be 50 for Clements. That'll be 50. Off of 57 for her there, and I wonder, we'll see here if she does come off. I think she might stick at it here. No, I think she is going to retire, in fact. Uh, so there you go, nice moment there, and it'll come off. And uh, and good innings again, that's twice now for the MCC that both openers have retired on 50. Shot, really nicely played. It won't be a dot, but it'll be the complete opposite. Oh, no! Oh, Keshi! Oh, no! Keshi's gone. Watch this, Keshi. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's out of it, ready. Oh, there go the chairs. There we go. <laughs> oh, Keshi. Oh, dear, oh, dear. The man, the myth, the legend is Neil Kesh Patel. What a shot that was, though, from Gallagher. Get to boundary to finish off. Very good from the skipper. Right out of the screws as the MCC finish on 133 for two off their 20 overs. So open up the bowling. 1-3-4 the target then. Pulled into the onside. This is you know, Agriapulu opening up the batting. And gets off the mark straight away. Shot. Well played. And that's going to be the first boundary for Greece. This is firmly struck from Agriapulu. Got it. It was full and it was straight. And Agriapulu with the happy feet. Unfortunately just plays all around it sort of tangled herself up in a bit of a mess and that'll be the first wicket to go full and straight simple game of cricket you miss I hit shot away by Jakapulu oh, and gonna be gone here is uh, 
Zanavari. So she will go for a two-ball duck. She gets run out as it was an excellent bit of fielding. Very simple work. She doesn't run the bat down. That's the issue. That's where she gets that one wrong. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That'll be the end, though, for Irini Zanavari. So she's going to have to go. The score will now be for Greece. Uh, 18 for two. That's a nice shot, though. Well timed through cover for Yorgota. We'll get off the mark. Probably get two. And she does as well. Very good shot indeed. Good running. Oh, that. Very good arm as well. <laughs> it's a bit of a coming together. Shot carved away straight to the fielder though. Could be trouble at the non-strikers. And umpire is not going to give it. Let's have a look here. Let's see. I don't think she gets back here. Oh no, she's she's out by a long way. That's a nice shot. Oh, a bit of a mix-up here. Could be gone. Oh, no, it's a terrible throw. Oh, now at the other strikers. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, what's happened here? Oh, no. Well, I think this means that Daphne's going to go. Well, let's try and break this one down. It was a. It was straight to the bowl, straight to the fielder. Daphne went on impact. And uh, it's kind of sent really up the, up the wind. And they both are running towards the wrong end. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, in fact, oh, I think it is going to be Daphne that goes. But... Oh dear, oh dear, Greece just again having some troubles with their running. And another one goes. That's going to be two runouts in very quick succession. Nice sweep shot into the onside. And this one, it might have the legs to go all the way. Trickles over the rope. Four runs. Justin needs a response. Lofted. And again, hit firmly. And this will be back to back boundaries. It will be. Lovely from Siriotti. Shot, lofted over the top. That's going to be four runs. Nicely played from Macri. And gone. That'll be the end of Macri. And again, I'm not, I'm not, not unhappy with what's happened there. Is it realistically was uh, was a good sign of intent from Macri, but unfortunately, that's going to be the end of her. She just plays across the line, just clips the top of leg stump. And Routledge will pick up a wicket. That's going to be a wicket. Uh, that's going to be one for Godman and another one for McCann. She probably should have uh, had a stumping earlier on, but makes no mistake this time around. Does very well indeed. Foot miles up in the air. But a nice little cameo, though, from Elia Siliotti, who ends up going. Uh, unfortunately, she'll go for 16 off of 19. Ooh, not far away at all. In fact, that is out. Just clips the stumps on its way down. So Savani will go for a two-ball duck. And a very short stay at the crease for it. Let's see this here. I thought it just got over, but clearly on the way down. It just clips the top of the bales. Perfect delivery, in fact, from Janet Godman. So that's the second in the over to fall. And the revolving door of Greece batters continues to float. It's got through everything. And they'll get a bite. They'll take anything they can get. In fact, that's... Will be the end of the game. And they'll finish with a bye. 81 for 7 is what they'll finish on. It's a thumping 52-run victory for the likes of the MCC. Yet again, just proving to be a class above the rest here in this Valletta Cup.